Hello, first graders. It's Miss Ward again. Welcome to the last lesson of Chapter 1, 1 1.5, Spinning Earth. Today, we are going to explain the sky in different places. Let me start by telling you what you need today. Today, you need someone to talk to. I'm going to talk to Lavender. If you don't have someone in your house you can talk to, you can always talk to your thumb again, remember, or a stuffy. Okay, you also need something to write with and something to write on. If you have uh, the packet that comes with this lesson, you can use that as well, but you don't need it. All you need is a pen and a piece of paper and someone to talk to. We are working today as sky scientists to help Sai understand why the sky looked different to him than it did to his grandma when they talked on the phone right before he went to bed. That's what we're working on today. And if we remember, Sai, when he looked out the window right before he went to bed, he saw um, the sky. This is what he saw on the top. But his grandma saw the stars. So we're gonna explain to Sai. We should be able to put all of our evidence together today and explain to Sai why this guy looked different to Sai than his grandma. Let's start with the chart that we ended off with yesterday, okay? We observed that the sky looked, um, what the sky looked like in these six different places, and then we organized our observations by coloring the ones that were in the daytime yellow and the places that were nighttime blue. So scientists often, they share their ideas, so they talk to each other. That's why I said having a partner is so important today. If we were in the classroom instead of at home, we would be talking to our classmates, but even without our classmates, it's still so important that we talk to each other and that we listen to each other that I think it's worth doing even if you're doing it with a stuffed animal or your thumb instead of a person because it's really important for us to talk through our ideas. So this is how the shared listening is going to go. Partner A shares, so I'm gonna be partner A, I'm gonna share, and partner B is gonna listen, right? And then partner B responds, and then say if you agree or disagree, and then you're gonna switch, okay? So you share, listen, respond, and then agree or disagree. So here's my idea. I'm gonna be partner A, okay? So the question is, what does the sky look like to people in different places on Earth right now? I just realized before I share, I should give you a second to share with your partner. So if you can, if you're somewhere where you can pause this video, I would pause it and talk about your ideas first using this table, and then you can press play and listen to my ideas and lavender ideas, okay? So if you can, pause it now. Okay, I'm gonna share my ideas with lavender. So lavender, I think that the sky looks the same to everyone on earth right now. So when I look out the window, I see daytime. So I think that's true for everybody on the whole planet. What do you think, Lavender? So remember, I shared Lavender listens and then she's going to respond to me and then we're gonna switch. All right, Lavender, what do you think? Ooh, Lavender's thinking. What is she thinking? Mmm, thumbs down. Lavender disagrees with me. She must think that it's not daytime for everybody on Earth right now. Why do you think that, Lavender? She says the sun, and the sun means daytime, right? The sun is in Seattle, and the stars, and the stars mean nighttime? The stars are in Zambezi National Park. Hmm, that's a really good point, Lavender. Do you guys see how Lavender is using the data from the data table to share with me that maybe my idea isn't right? Because 
If I was right, everybody should be in daytime right now, but it's not. Some people have nighttime right now and some people have daytime. Good thinking, Lavender. What did you guys think? So this is a big idea. Right now, the sky looks different to people in different places on Earth. So how the sky looks depends on where you live. We did all this work and we finally have an answer to this chapter one question. Why did the sky look different to Sai than to his grandma? But we need to communicate that to Sai. We need to tell him what ideas we came up with. And we're gonna do that by writing. So why did the sky look different to Sai than to his grandma? Let's write this together. So Sai lives in a place near us, okay? When he called his grandma right before bedtime, what did he see in the sky when he called? So you guys, we can look at this picture and say what he saw. Did he see the sun, so it was daytime, or did he see the stars, so it's nighttime? Yeah, he saw the sun, so for Sai, it was still daytime. What did Sai's grandma see when he called her? Well, when she looked out, did she see the sun or did she see stars? What do we see in this picture? Stars, that's right. So Sai's grandma saw stars when Sai saw the sun. So we need to communicate or share this idea with Sai, just like we communicated with our partner now we're going to communicate with Sai to help him solve his problem. And we're going to do that through writing. Okay? So I'm going to write this one. You guys are going to write the next one on your own. Okay? So let's break it up into these smaller pieces. What did Sai see in the sky in the place where he lives? So what did Sai see? Sai saw the sun, right? So in the place where Sai lives, he observed the sun in the sky. So what time does that mean it is? Is it daytime or nighttime if he sees the, if he sees the sun? It's daytime. So in the place where Sai lives, he observed the sun in the sky, so it was daytime. Next one. What did Sai's grandma see in the sky, in the place where she lives? What did she see when she looked out the window? The stars, that's right. So what time of day was it for Sai's grandma? Let's look at this one. In the place where Sai's grandma lives, she observed the stars in the sky, so it must be nighttime. So it was nighttime. Nice, all right. Now we have one more sentence do you think Sai and his grandma live in the same place on Earth or in different places on Earth? So if we think about it, if Sai saw the sun and his grandma saw the stars and they were looking outside at the same time, do they live in the same place or different places? You can think back to your conversation you had with your partner. Yeah, I think you're right. Sai lives in a different place on earth than his grandma, right? So let's put these three sentences together. Will you guys help me read these? Thanks. In the place where Sai lives, he observed the sun in the sky, so it was daytime. In the place where Sai's grandma lives, she observed the stars in the sky, so it was nighttime. Sai lives in a different place on earth than his grandma. Nice work, you guys, fantastic. All right, what we did today was communicate. We communicated to our partner when we were talking to our partner, and we communicated to Sai when we wrote out why what he saw was different than his grandma. So let's add communicate to our chart. We have done so many things. Observe, read, record, organize, and now communicate.
I only have one more thing I want you guys to do today when this video is over and that's reflecting on daytime and nighttime. We're gonna talk about two other people. So Maya and Rico are observing the sky at the same time. Maya observes that it's daytime, so this top picture, okay? Rico observes that it's nighttime, so the bottom picture. It's daytime for Maya right now, it's nighttime for Rico. So if you have the packet, you can write your answers on the packet. If you don't have the packet, that's okay. You can just write on a blank piece of paper and you should be able to do just fine, okay? So what you're gonna do is in one box, you're gonna draw what Maya sees in the sky and in the other box, you're gonna draw what Rico sees, right? So you're gonna draw Maya seeing the sun and Rico seeing the stars, right? So you're gonna draw those things in the boxes. And then on the bottom, you're gonna talk first. So talk to your partner first about whether you think Maya and Rico live in the same place or different places. Then after you've had a nice conversation about it, um, then you're gonna write the questions. It's always better to talk about what you're gonna write before you start writing it, okay? And the last thing is that I want to give you guys the um, some words that you can use when you're doing this activity. You can use the word wall words to help you spell, help you remember what words we want to use. There are our word wall words. We have daytime, nighttime, predict, pattern, data, record, and organize. So we have all those word wall words you can use in your writing. All right, good luck. See you next time.